There ain't no doubt about it, folks. I am a skinny mini. Now, there are many body types out there with their own drawbacks and advantages. And while skinny is allegedly a very good body type to have, it doesn't come without its drawbacks. So let's talk about that for a second. So I can relate to all of those out there that have skinny problems like me. I also just want to say I'm not trying to be condescending or anything talking about my own problems. There are plenty of plus size people that have problems in relation to their own body type. And I don't want to sound condescending. I just want to make a funny, relatable video about my own problems. Here we go! Number one, it hurts to sit for long periods of time. Let's face it, my glutes are basically non-existent. So, in turn, it hurts that I sit down for a long time, having no padding. If I have a cushion, I'm usually good, but even that doesn't really do a lot. So, here I am. Hey, let's all go on a road trip to the beach. Uh. Seven hours later. Woo! Beach day! Beach day! Hey, Bean, you coming? <laughs> Number two, clothes don't fit. Now, this is something that is definitely not unique to my body type due to the ridiculously arbitrary clothing sizing method people use on all girls. I'm sure that all people struggle with this, regardless of their body type. But either way, I still feel like it should be talked about because it's just so annoying. Wow, there are a lot of cute clothes here. I should probably buy some. children's clothes fit me, but they're still children's clothes. Number three, you get no personal space, especially on buses and subway trains. People tend to think because you're skinny, you require less space than them. So they will give you little to no space if you're sitting with a bunch of people. And it sucks. You've got like two three jabronis sitting in the same spot as you and you only get like a few inches of seat. It absolutely sucks. But luckily for us, my little chickpeas, there's a very simple solution to this. To be a jerk. Basically just taking up as much space as possible so people know not to just shove you out of the way. Like for instance, wearing a baggy hoodie or jacket to make you look bigger than you actually are. Wear some sunglasses so people won't try to talk to you. But, you know, not good ones. Wear headphones so people don't try to talk to you. That's really good. Um, bring a backpack to sit next to you so people won't try to sit in that spot. Bring another backpack so people won't sit on the other side of you. Number four, you're super duper scrawny, which kind of sucks. This one is actually kind of funny because honestly, as annoying as it is, my nestles are pretty much non-existent. So it's super fun to joke about and just kind of laugh at myself, but I can't tell you how many times I've been at the gym working out my skeleton bod and everyone's just kind of looking at me like, is this person serious? Regardless, it makes for some pretty hilarious setups. Hey guys, you want to go get smoothies after this workout? Count me in. I love smoothies. Excuse me, we weren't talking to you? We only invite people that actually go to the gym here, not people that bought a membership and then just come once. I've been coming here for a month, Kyle. I drove you home last week. What the frick? Number five. People always think that you have an eating disorder. This one is the most annoying one out of all of them. I hate this one. It's just our metabolism. 
We don't have an eating disorder just because we're skinny. I mean, seriously, God forbid that a skinny person be born skinny. Seriously, it's just so stupid. So, what can I get started for you guys? Oh, I'll have the... Shh, shh, shh. I know the struggles of feeling insecure, Bean. You don't need to order a salad for me. You're beautiful. What in the world are you talking about? Well, it's just that I thought you might have an eating disorder. Of course, why wouldn't you? These things always happen to me. Garçon, give me your biggest dish. I don't care what's in it, just bring it to me. Uh, see, I'm not an anorexic. Yep, you sure did prove me wrong. And that concludes our list. If you relate to any of these struggles, comment down below and eat those.